to welcome our Pandranga Vithal principal, Government Politics and Holiday School. He will be taking a class today on motivation in working environment. Over to you, sir. Please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Respected uh, Director of Technical Education, and Directors of various uh, departments, Deputy Directors, Assistant Directors, and uh, the organizers of uh, this uh, online video presentation and staff of DTE, principals of uh, various government polytechnics, staff of uh, the uh, Department of Technical Education, and uh, my dear students uh, from uh, the state. I'm here to give a video presentation on motivation in working environment. So at the outset, I would like to congratulate and felicitate Talwar Sar for having made such an initiative. So, so he is a man of uh, novel ideas. Whatever uh, radical changes happens in uh, technology, so he is the first man to implement it. So we have seen it uh, since so many years. So that's why our Department uh, of Technical Education of Karnataka is a front runner in implementing novel schemes. So it may be method of education or maybe in any other uh, areas, he is the first person. So he, he is so vibrant with uh, uh, new ideas. So, so uh, because of him only, this type of presentation happens here. So we, we can reach to the remotest polytechnics with uh, valuable lectures, so that uh, so the students in the remote polytechnics can also uh, get benefited. This is really a, a very good initiative, and I, I think this will uh, take huge uh, strides to the uh, to the benefit of the students. First of all, my that is motivation in working environment. So the world itself motivates us because the uh, world is like that. So this is a general but uh, a relevant topic especially to the final year students of uh, diploma because uh, very shortly they are going to enter into the work course. They, if they adopt the work culture, they will definitely become productive, quality oriented with more efficiency and uh, in turn, they will become a useful entity to the organization. So that is the benefit for your students. And also, this is a very useful for the young entrants. Uh, that is the uh, lecture, young lecturers of our department. If they adopt these values in their life, they would become, they, they could build up their uh, uh, successful career to the uh, student community at large. That's how this is a very useful topic. So, uh, uh, factors in my, my mind, I have prepared slides. So uh, now we shall straight away go to the uh, topic. So, <coughs> see, <coughs> so motivation is a very general word. Wherever you go, motivation, motivation, let's say. So motivation is, uh, you can talk hours together, days together, but so, yeah, but our objective is whether how much motivation affects, how much motivation helps in an office environment or in a college environment. That is our main focus. So here, let us if, if you take an office environment, normally two types of stresses will come. Two, two premises will come. That is two problems that we have noticed as leaders. As teachers, so we have noticed this. There are number one problem is workers are good but cannot do still better. They do the things but cannot do excellence. So in their work, we cannot expect the excellence. So that is where some lacking is there. And second one is workers know what to do but will not do. They know what to do. So they are knowledgeable. They know the tricks of the trade but they will not do. Which is normally we are seeing in a an office environment. What is missing? In both in both the categories, what is missing? That the missing factor is the spot. That is the motivation. That is where the motivation comes into picture. Because of the lack of the motivation, work efficiency, <laughs> reputation of the organization has come down because there is no motivation need. Therefore, a leader has to motivate the workforce in an office environment. Even students also, when they go into the uh, in industries, if they lack motivation, they lack respect, they lack recognition, 
they lack uh, 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 they lack efficiency they lack efficiency in working in turn they will become a wasteful product of the society so keeping these two in mind we will discuss one after another what is motivation motivation is something that encourages action or feeling you may have a feel so uh, that, uh, that is not properly channelized so so we have a feel that we, there is no channel to exercise it so motivation is something that encourages action or feeling if some if somebody scolds me i may get a uh, temper so if i show in an angry mood that is a uh, that's not emotion that's for that's added with motivation you can say so if you shout at a person so you, your feeling is loaded with or exaggerated with motivation so you, you you may have some grief if it is loaded with motivation you will cry therefore if the feelings are surged with the emotion that will become motivation understand so it's a motive for action with added vigor so for any activity for any task you will act there is an action but if it is loaded with vigorness it is called as motivation there motivation comes into picture the same work you are doing with added vigor and it arouses action and sustains activity because so any activity takes hours together or days together or years to together you may initiate in the beginning with the loaded motivation but that activity has to be sustained throughout the uh, task so that is where motivation comes into picture so motivation not only arouses action it has to sustain throughout uh, the actual task until the goal is reach it and it develops a burning desire to succeed so it is not only desire it is a burning desire day in day out you you have a desire so swami vivekananda says that take up an idea day, day in day out you think it your muscle your brain your nervous system every thing should be involved in that idea in this way you can achieve success that's what the swami vivekananda says so that means there is a burning desire i have to complete the diploma with uh, distinction that, that should be a burning desire the student has to think over it then only you can succeed so otherwise uh, it's like a initial uh, uh, initial encouragement uh, afterwards uh, the activity resists that is not the, uh, the objective of motivation the motivation has to arouse action it has to sustain throughout the task and uh, until the goal is reached and it's a, it's a factor that enhances the performance if you are if you are motivated your performance will definitely enhance understand so if there is no motivation so performance will be very normal bored and very menial understand but the same work if it is loaded with motivation then the performance it will reflect in the performance and then it enables the to work with more efficiency efficiency will be definitely increased so uh, maybe hundreds of workers but there is no efficiency <laughs> but if, if there are only 10 to 15 workers if they are loaded with motivation the efficiency will be more so it's not the number of the staff members number of the workers even if the number of workers are low, uh, less if they are loaded if they are uh, loaded with motivation the same amount of the work can be achieved this is one advantage of motivation understand the work force can be drastically reduced and full of very good workers with the motive uh, with motivation so you can get the work done instead of hundreds of thousands of busy <coughs> workers and then <coughs> it enables to work with more efficiency persuades convince us and propels into action it's very important definition of uh, motivation it persuades nimma hinde bartade adu nimme ne agudodilla it persuades it convinces us and it will propel you into action that's where the motivation comes in teacher you have what you have much energy you don't know what you are so as a teacher as a leader of the organization i will persuade 
I will convince you that you can do the things and I will put you into action. So, for the example of Ramayana, where Jambavanta persuades Hanumanta uh, in the southern tip of the India when uh, uh, that monkey group of monkeys led by uh, Angada they were discussing how to jump across the ocean. It's a huge task, a huge width. Hanumanta was sitting also some distance away but Jamavata knows what Hanumanta is so he, he goes to Hanumanta he, he reveals what he is what are his capabilities on the wall so what about the result of that action so and he makes ready Hanumanta to jump across the ocean so that is where motivation comes in the future he persuades convinces and propels you into action motivation can also be understood by the opposite meaning of it. This is very interesting. The biggest enemy of motivation is complacence. Complacence and it's optimal satisfaction. There is no optimism. Even if I draw 10,000 rupees salary, oh, I can adjust life to 10,000 itself and I will be happy. That is the mindset. So that is the biggest enemy of the motivation. So if you want to achieve high if you have to reach high in the life so you have to be motivated this complacence is a biggest enemy that will fix the motivation so therefore you cannot remain complacent someone what happens uh, the students after completing the examination they all of a sudden they become complacent they give up all the studies and they are start enjoying only when next examination comes they take up the study work in between they remain complacent so this complacence is the biggest enemy of the motivation and procrastination. This is another uh, very good word. So this is this is one which kills the efficiency of an organization. Procrastination means you are <coughs> you are postponing the things. So today a lot of some works are some files are have come to your table or some work schedule. What will you do? So today I'm not feeling well. I will do tomorrow. When tomorrow comes, you say tomorrow. I will. It's tomorrow like that. So you go on uh, postponing the things. So the files go on increasing, and your uh, uh, volume of subject to be studied that also goes on increasing because uh, work postponed is work work multiplying, whereas pleasure postponed is pleasure multiplying. That's a very good adage. If you postpone the work. Work also gets manifold. Whereas if you postpone the pleasure, so the pleasure comes in multiple ways. This is very much true with students. In their student life, this three years, as a diploma students in the span of three years, if they take this these three years as a tapas, and if they work hard, sacrificing all the uh, comforts, happiness. So they can uh, achieve very good success in the examination. They may uh, get a better placement. They can enjoy the rest of the life. But they, but most of the students, like they go on procrastinating. They at the end in the examination, huge workload will come. They cannot attend, so they will perform marginally. So they will not get a better placement. They will not become a successful person in the life. Therefore, so if you want. If you want to understand motivation, the other factors, opposite factors, as complacence and progress, these two negative factors, please this avoid these two factors. Now, motivation naturally creeps in. So, if you avoid progress, so the day's work you complete in that day only. Understand? You don't remain complacent. So, every day you should be alert. And on Sarah Vishweshwaraya visited uh, Job Falls. Suddenly a new idea came to him. Why can't we generate electricity out of this? So his mind was never present. Every time, every hour of the day, so he was occupied with one or other novel ideas. Understand? And uh, he was doing it also with success. So that is where motivation comes into picture. <coughs> so what are the factors that influence the motivation? In an office environment or in your, your college environment. So Maslow has given the famous educationist Maslow 
has given a principle, a vulgar principle that is pain and a very simple demonstration of the motivation. If the gain is more than pain, that's the biggest motivator. So out of your work, if you are gaining more, if you are gaining substantially, if you are gaining something useful, something beneficial, your motivation increases. If I pass this examination with distinction, I will have a better placement. I can get a good engineering college. Or if I uh, complete this task, I may get a promotion, I may get a reward, I may get a transfer, I may get some recognition, societal approval. These are all some gains. Understand? Therefore, if that gain is more than your pain, you know, if you want to perform a task, pain is in one limit. Without pain, so you have set up all these things. Without pain, it is not possible. You have taken a lot of pains so that we are reaching throughout the world through YouTube and uh, by Google Hangout throughout the Karnataka, we are reaching. So, but for this task, pain is there. But uh, we, are, uh, we, are, we are giving video presentations, students are receiving it, so they may improve by themselves because of this. That is the gain. That will give uh, brings you satisfaction. That is where that is the biggest motivator. And this prompts our uh, Department of Technical Education to take more and more initiatives like this. And then, but the pain is more than a gain. Reverse. That is the biggest this I did not explain. That's a model in the no way just the other. It is it naturally discourages to do that task. Therefore, if the pain is more than again, that is the that is the deterrent. And this gains may be tangible or intangible. Tangible means able to touch, feel. Intangible means you cannot touch it. Understand? Tangible gains may be rewards. Maybe a certificate of appreciation, a bouquet, something like that. Promotions, you may get a promotion. So you may get a vacation, you may get a gift. This is intangible gains. Intangible means appreciation. You have your own contentment, self-contentment. Uh, that's the quality of a good worker. Good worker needs no appreciation. After completing that task, he himself gets very satisfaction. He relaxes himself as I have done this work. So he himself accolades. Understand? He doesn't need anybody's appreciation. That's the self satisfaction. And then self worth, your worth. So I can do this work. I can give online presentation. I can present this work. I will get. Like everybody in their work schedule, if they consider themselves the, the, the work he has. A quality one, and uh, out of completing, uh, accomplishing this task, if they feel proud, uh, that is self worth. So, if you feel the self worth, that will prompt to do some such works like that. In this way, the institution or the organization grows, and then overall growth of the institution, overall growth of the uh, organization, and individual growth is also possible. Understand? So, if you are a good motivator, if you are a hard worker, not only the society recognizes you, you will also grow. Knowingly or unknowingly, you may become rich, you may become a scholar, you may become a orator, you may become a public person. Long term gains that you will get. So, if you are properly motivated, therefore, mass, as, uh, according to Maslow, basic needs such as food, uh, shelter, and marriage, these are the basic needs. First, you, you are interested in these uh, basic needs and you will work. After certain time, meta needs will come. So, <coughs> like this, according to math, so this is the basic needs, and this is the Metalism. This may be your food, your shelter. Here it comes self esteem. Ego, self actualization. Like this it goes. Understand? Basically, basically you want two square meals. 
two square meals or three square meals a day and then a shelter am i like a quarter or these things you start working when once these basic needs are accomplished then you want to you want to recognize from the society you want to recognize from the society so your self esteem increases your ego you have to satisfy your ego and then finally self actualization you you will become like a maharshi saint saint like like okay, that's that's what that's how maslow has described the needs and he has correlated with the motivation so motivation is lifelong understand so even even for a saint to attain sainthood motivation is required you are in the purana purana ages hiranyakashipu ravana they are they are doing tapasyas you are for doing tapasyas motivation is required so they are interested in something great great achieve yeah the great achievers to achieve they have to hold this the spirit of motivation without motivation nothing is possible so even an object cannot move like one step without motivation because motivation is one it arouses action it changes your behavior it will set your behavior towards goals understand so so you will work, you will work with more efficiency your work efficiency gets enhanced your behavior it gets energized you will be stimulated you will become an active person everybody likes you so these are all the advantages of the motivation you will become useful entity to the organization that's where the motivation comes into picture not only in education institution in every organization you know, people like the people who are motivated dull people nobody appreciates understand nobody likes also so if you are very lop sided very dull very uh, bored on people nobody appreciates nobody likes if you are motivated one everybody will likes so this is the essence of motivation this is the benefit of the motivation about inspiration and the motivation so there is a direct uh, relationship between inspiration spurti inspiration antandre spurti antu hartare motivation anandre prerane kanadalli spurti matte prerane so can you motivate anybody it's not directly possible you cannot motivate anybody directly you can inspire them to become motivated understand so uh, a good adage is, is there a great teacher is a teacher who inspires the thoughts of the students has uh, known a bad teacher always scolds a good teacher tells a best teacher teaches and a uh, 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 extraordinary teacher inspires the thoughts of the students he becomes a source of inspiration to the one teacher one abdul kalam has uh, converted the very face of the nation in the minds he has converted the very face of the minds that is the quality of a uh, inspirational teacher therefore the inspiration is changing thinking your uh, mindset you will itself, itself will change understand so if you are not studying hard so you, you, if you are come if you come under the influence of a great teacher you start studying you start observing the things so that's the that's the magic which hap, which will happen because of a great teacher that's the real inspiration comes into picture and motivation is changing into action so inspiration changes thinking this uh, know the difference inspiration changes thinking whereas motivation changes action so a city if you are if you uh, if you stand and do some work that's motivation while sitting your mindset was on changing that is inspiration so you get inspiration and then you will be subjected to motivation therefore as teachers so we have to inspire the students to get motivated that's our final duty even the students also they should get inspiration from the teachers from the role models and then they start getting themselves motivated so this is very much true not only in educational field it's very much true in the whole sphere of life and then inspire one to get motivation motivation is like a like a fire so the educationist of us find this sentence motivation you know, be a fire it's like a fire big event 
ವ್ಯಾಪಿಸ್ತದೆ ಪ್ರಜ್ವಲಿಸಿಕೊಂಡು ಅದನ್ನು ವ್ಯಾಪಿಸ್ತದೆ ಅದು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ದ ಫೈರ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸಸ್ಟೈನ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಆಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಫೈರ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಶನ್ ಫೈರ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಡೈಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ದ ಫೈರ್ continuously flaming without extinguishing you should be continuously adding the oil of inspiration therefore inspiration is not a one time process as teachers you should be con- continuously inspiring understand you should continuously inspire then only so the motivation sustains till the end of the task and your task is done Hey, motivate. What are the motivation? How, how you can motivate? What are the types of the motivation? It comes, there is internal motivation and external. There are some internal factors. There are from some external factor which stimulates you, which energizes you to get motivated. What are those internal factors? External factors that we discuss now. So we should take up the internal motivation. These are all called as achievement motivators. Yeah, these are the high level persons, high, high quality persons. They are in, driven by intrinsic motivation. Or they are the hope prayer in it. They are the hope prayer in it. They are the hope prayer in it. Motivated at that. They themselves get motivated. They, they do not require any external pressure, any external factor. So, that is the inner drive. It is inner drive. I have to do this. I have to complete this. I have to achieve this. so we have seen so many of our friends are uh, they they do for the sake of satisfaction their their own satisfaction so they complete mt they complete phd they do this such work they do not get any benefit in you all not they do not get any any benefit they do that's in a drive our uh, <coughs> after 33 years of uh, uh, our student life Uh, the jagdish has organized a reunion so nothing benefited him but some sense of satisfaction it's a great healthy task it's not so easy after 33 years uh, of separation again bringing them to, to one uh, under one roof it's not an easy thing he worked day in day out finally was able to uh, gather Uh, 80% of our uh, classmates. So that's where that inner drive comes into place. Attitude is the mindset. These uh, highly motivated uh, people will have that mindset. Attitude is a uh, one way which leads to success. How much of aptitude you have? Attitude is the inner potential you have. I am a BE graduate. I am an MTech graduate. I have potential. That is aptitude. i can teach diploma students engineering college students i have that work but you don't have the mindset of teaching so you lack in attitude therefore the researcher says that 90% of aptitude and 10% of attitude no use andre artha if you are very very intelligent if you are highly knowledgeable so you have all degrees with you number of degrees with you but if you don't have a, the mindset to to teach you are waste but if you are 10% aptitude and 90% attitude you are a quality teacher this is so aptitude is the inner potential you have whereas attitude is the mindset you can take the horse to the tank what a tank we can drown its mouth to the pond if we did not drink we drink what it, 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 it doesn't have the attitude of drinking so what you make to make the horse to drink water you will not succeed because the horse has no mindset so this is where therefore we have so we although although we are having attitude we have to increase the attitude level so some uh, researchers have found out that attitude is one word which gives 100% so according to alphabet ranking a for 1 b for 2 c for 3 d for 4 like that attitude so if you calculate if you give the rankings and if you sum up that it will you will get 100 marks no other word in the world will uh, get that 100 like that 
so you, you you some of other good qualities uh, like that uh, uh, discipline intelligence like that so that, that will not come 100% whereas this attitude a for one t like that finally that is the magic effort my dear friends my dear students so develop attitude you may be lagging in the subject you may not be knowing the subject develop your mindset the rest will be rest will become history so at the time of uh, we completed our be there was no computers now we are much, somewhat gained the knowledge in computer because maybe a new area you, you should be continuously thriving to improve from strength to strength you should aspire from strength to strength so after completion of the bg i completed btech i completed mtech i completed pgdca that whatever that their department has provided the opportunity i jumped in so it's only a self i have increased my self worth like this is everybody feels rise to strive from strength to strength definitely the very face of this department or organization will definitely change and then realistic goals you have to set the realistic goals attike eni hakbeke ha aakashike eni hakbadu so you have to strategically realistic yeah impossible goals demotivate in the very face itself this work we cannot do it will come understand see if that initial judgment comes you will not move into do uh, take up the task so you will be deprived you will be discouraged therefore so a leader when he is assigning the work to his subordinates he must judge whether it is a realistic goal whether it can be accomplished within uh, stipulated time all these factors has to consider then only the motivation sustains otherwise motivation dies down understand next positive self talk what is this this is also called as so sir this positive self talk this is also called as what do you mean by auto suggestion you are suggesting to yourself this is very much true true in the case of an athlete athlete he will be saying to himself i will win i will win every may second is to me positive self talk so you talk in the present tense to yourself to improve uh, uh, yourself like that so this auto suggestions you have to make so manasinante mahadeva anta kannadalu ant helthare nimma manasinalli olledanne nepsukolta idre olledanne aagta irthade so this positive self talk is very very essential for for any worker to get motivated so you you have to continuously counsel yourself by good words appreciating words so i have to complete this this is very easy so if i complete this i will get promotion reward like that so you continuously talk to yourself every second of your uh, work so adana patisud ant heltarala ha mantra tara patistha irbeku positive self talk then you will not be deterred from uh, any distractions outside distractions will not affect you because so you are concentrated in your task only because so you are following positive self talk that is a key factor to get motivated to stay motivated and to reach the task <laughs> sense of accomplishment so this is uh, no no need of any reward if i if you get complete a task if you accomplish a task the satisfaction will come so that is the quality of the internal motivator so he will be, he will feel happy 
So if I give a good lecture, we'll return in the bus. I'll feel very happy. I have I have delivered a yeah, good. That is sense of uh, satisfaction, sense of accomplishing the things. This internal mo motivation is lasting. It will not last. It will last forever. So yeah, internal motivator by birth he is an internal uh, motivator. Akri damsak is a internal motivator. He will that will not last. So even in his old and old age also he will be doing some more other work. Understand? Take the, take, take for example Abdul Kalam Ji, Baba Amte. So uh, Tumpur uh, Shri Siddhalik uh, Shukuma Swami Ji. Every day they were, do their work. So because motivation is the drive, that motivation is lasting forever, and then they are not bothered about short term rewards. I am not bothered about short term rewards. So if I do this work, uh, the higher officer appreciates me. I am not bothered. So they give me a plate. He will give me a bouquet. I am not bothered. Short term gains. So I, I will get immediate uh, 100 rupees increment. I am not bothered. So short term rewards will not bother. So I am interested in long term gain. Understand? If I complete this task, so some after five years, for the students I am saying, uh, at the, uh, after the completion of the course, I will be placed in a better company. I will be drawing lakhs of rupees. What about this uh, 100 rupees or 200 rupees reward? I am not bothered about it. Therefore, the internal motivator is always interested in long term gain. Do not give up easily. Do not give up. This is very, very important. For the heaven's sake, if you have taken a task, under any circumstances, do not, do not, do not give up. So that is the uh, characteristic of a failure person. So so many hurdles will, will come, so many difficulties will come, so so many uh, snatchers will come. So there are so many restrictions will come, but you should not give up. So you are here, Tarala. We are coming here, Tarala. Antha ibandru guri. That should be the spirit of a motivator. Understand? That is the quality of internal motivator. They do not give up easily. Problems make them stronger. In fact, problems will not deter them. Problems will not discourage them. Problems will not deprive them. Problems will make them stronger. They become a stronger person because so no uh, no problem is uh, uh, <coughs> uh, permanent. So if if God has made a uh, if you have manufactured a lock, you have also manufactured a key. If there is some problem, there should there will be always a solution. Without solution, there is no problem in this earth. So maybe some difficult, maybe some time consuming. Maybe you have to uh, get some strain, but there will be some solution. There will be some way out. Therefore, problems make them strong. You should not be discouraged. You should not be afraid by the problems. So you take the example of great achievers. Rajinikanth, what was he? So before he became a star, he was a bus conductor. But there was the inner drive in him to become an actor. He tried vehemently in the state of Karnataka. He could not get uh, chances. He could not get there. He went to the state of Tamil Nadu. What was he doing? He was he was sleeping in Panagal Park, Tinagar. So he was eating this peanuts bread and he was sleeping on the uh, uh, stone bench. In the initial days of Padmaro uh, I have seen that movie. in those days, Rajinikant uh, and Kamal Hasan has started that movie. In that movie, while, while that uh, movie is being shot, he was sleeping in Panagal Park. Tinagar. He has he had no shelter in Tamil Nadu, Madras. That was the condition. What is he now? Because of the sustained motivation, inner drive, so that's mindset, attitude, he has become the biggest star ever produced in the whole nation. And then Ramajira, anybody knows about Ramajira? 
from ETV. First, do you know what he was doing? He was uh, selling pickles. He was preparing pickles in his home only, and he was carrying pickle boxes in the cycle, and he was uh, riding the bicycle in the streets, and he was selling the pickles. You know the brand name of that pickle? Priya. Priya Upinakai. Very famous pickle brand available in the market. And then slowly he entered into uh, journalism, Pinadu paper, and then ETV, and he has set a Ramojara film city. How he become rich from the <coughs> his potential there, the rag to riches, rag to riches. He was a rag. So he became a rich from rags to riches. How much he has strived hard that he should do. Because he was not a born millionaire, he was not a born this one. And then Kail <coughs> Rahul, you know, you know about Rahul. So he is a famous uh, cricketer of nowadays. But uh, I know him personally, Kail Rahul. He was a student in uh, NATK school, in NATK Surat, he was a son of the Jiyanji Professor uh, Kail Lokesh sir. So he was my guide when I was doing MTEC. So when uh, so when, when, my, when, they, when I was studying under him, Lokesh sir was always complaining me, look Pandran Vital, this Rahul is not studying at all, always uh, concentrating on cricket. What he was doing, Friday evening, with his cricket baggages, he will from Mangalore, he will be coming to the Chinnaswami Stadium, Bangalore. He was coming to the Chinnaswami Stadium from Mangalore to Bangalore, main, main standard boy. Main standard boy without anybody's, we much to the will of his parents. From Surathpal to Chinnaswami Stadium, he was practicing, and then uh, Sunday night he was returning to. Uh, Mangalore. So, 90 standard boy, what is his level of motivation? What is his high? So, now he has become a star cricketer in uh, India. So, that, that's where motivation comes into picture. Vijay Prakash, you know, seeing that, I think uh, if you have uh, seen uh, Weekend with Ramesh, so I did not say eh, anything about him. So, he has cut his education, left his education in the middle. He went to Bombay and he was, was sleeping on the railway platforms and there without food uh, like that. Finally, he was able to find one gentleman, Suresh Wadekar or something, huh? uh, through him. So, <coughs> now he has become a star. Because in every achievers, they, they have toiled hard, not cleaned up the steps, toiled hard. So, therefore, if you, if you want to become future, the greatest motivation comes from one's belief system. So, if you want to achieve any task, any goal, first you have to believe it. So, in, uh, in the present day world, belief has got more value than anything. So, man will not die for money nowadays. Man will not die for uh, his wife or husband or his relatives. But man will die for a belief. That is very much true in Iraq and Syria, what is happening, you know. Huh? ISIS uh, terrorists, huh? they are dying for a belief. So, they are there. They are ready to these communal clashes happening for the sake of a belief. Whether it's a good belief or a bad belief, let us not discuss about it. It's not out of but for a belief. So they won't they don't want to give. So casteism politics. So they everybody thinks their caste itself is okay. motivators good they had the belief, good beliefs. Because of the belief, their action and their responsibility, and they have accepted their responsibility, accepted their action, 
and in turn they reap the benefit also so therefore so if you want to do anything you should believe it understand so whatever i am doing is correct what at least according to your sense so you makika makita madra yaro obru heltare avaru helutta nam madta idivi so there is no achievement makika maki gotirbekalu nimge so aba karaku na seto ondu pustaka kottu hale pustaka kottu hale ledger pustaka kottu hosa pustaka adhe tara copy madu anthe helidre alli ondu solle satru idira solle chitra innu gudisutne makika makki so that mindset is not useful so if you want to uh, be creative so you have to be motivated you have to have a belief you have to uh, believe in your belief and you have to strive hard so next to motivation this, this is all about internal motivation internal factors what are those external factors <coughs> money societal approval fear this this three are the external factor for the sake of fear you are doing something for the sake of societal approval there is no inner liking for you but still you are doing it some external force is there money so but this will not yield great results will it result will it yield great results no it cannot because you are not doing out of your heart somebody's pressure somebody's coercion you are doing the work that will not yield great results is soon after the external force disappears as long as lecturers invigilator is there in the examination hall students are so very attentive then once he goes out they start talking like this, it is true in every, every case also understand because motivation dies soon after the external force disappears as long as the force of examination is there student reads fear is over the examination session is over he will become complacent individual performance may improve gradually in the beginning you may be you may not like this type of motivation but because of this external threat also external factor also your quality may gradually improve understand modu modlu yaru kuda tanage madodilla vattada haaktivi vattada haakta adu adjust aagi adane navu ishta padlikke shuru madu that is also true sometimes external threat is also external force is also necessary once you become addicted adjusted to it so then that will become an order of the day for you and you start liking it mod modlo ellaru ishta padtare antalla ha kone kone yena sampa divasagala ada adjustment aagta 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 they start liking your spouse in the beginning you may not like it but after some some years if you start adjusting to it and then you start liking each other <coughs> first we will take up fear motivation what is this fear fear motivation is very much true in our constituency so if i go to any office any this one people will not work so easily we will not do our work so easily so i am the principal of goran polytechnic uh, sir our file uh, is pending please attend this file nobody will attend if i mention the name of our uh, mla immediately the words get then they become immediately alert fear motivation is there <coughs> so you can get that job done quickly if there is fear so if you don't do this work you will be reprimanded you will be punished you will be sacked if that fear is there the job gets done quickly so it prevents loss so sometimes this fear is uh, fear motivation is also necessary because we are all not ideal people normally we are uh, lazy people normally we like laziness some presence eh? but if them some external force is there so if you don't this work you will be you will be issued a memo like that if i if there is an external fear then the work gets done so it meets the deadlines within 3 days this work has to be completed deadline is there so if you simply go and request them they will not work you have to adopt fear 
motivation within three days by the end of this evening or by the end of third day the file should be uh, uh, on my table otherwise you will be sacked if you pass a threat like this the work so some motivation will come to you you work day in and day out so you will work and you will uh, reach the deadline disadvantages it remains as long as threat is there <coughs> destroys creativity you will not uh, you will not be creative you will not be innovative you will not apply your mind that's why performance limited to compliance yestu madbeko ashtu kelsa fear motivation alli avu yestu helidare ashtu gere ardha gere edaku illa valaku illa avu yen whatever he has assigned whatever he has instructed that much will complete that i don't want this is the normal mindset is it not so huh? so there is no scope for your uh, application of mind you don't apply your mind because this fear motivation you, if i do something extra if that the, if, if that does not work uh, according to the uh, views of my uh, say, uh, officer then i have to receive thanks this this type of fear will be there akasmat eno maadi eno aagi officer da yakappa na mugiskolbeku avaru esthe helidare ashtu kelsa maadu mugisona that is performance limited to compliance once the completed okay is completed so use it to stick and then need a big burst what what about this so fear motivation en aagta antandre first uh, now now uh, do so i have an example ona <coughs> i have seen one staff member when i have issued one memo it was about to commit suicide but in the later stage series of memos series of lws nothing happened to him and the first fear motivation avaru yenu madodilla anta gottadaga smaller stick will not come to use your usefulness you have to use bigger stick illappa ivunge ishtu stick bidak agadilla you have to you major blow like that therefore so the man is so adjusted so if he, if he comes to know your weakness then he will become uh, thick skinned so you have you need a bigger that's why uh, yeah, now this one uh, adage goes prey outsmarts predator so for example prey is a lion prey, uh, no, prey is a deer predator is a lion understand lion chases the deer in most of the circumstances deer outsmarts the lion deer escapes normally so if uh, if uh, uh, if a lion wants to hunt the deer group of lions will encircle the deer and uh, they hunt in group a single lion cannot uh, hunt the uh, deer because for what deer is running for its life whereas lion is running for its but that's the difference understand so here the more fear motivation is in the deer deer because it is so if it if it does not run away it will become a prey to the lion and it will die therefore deer is running for the sake of its life whereas lion is running for for the sake of its food so that is how this is the fear motivation comes into picture stand next <coughs> incentive motivation the function is fear motivation or incentive so i am giving something incentive to you so maybe a reward maybe an appreciation maybe a bonus maybe a commission maybe a promotion maybe a vacation like that big incentive greater achievement small incentive smaller achievement like that it's a, it's a direct this one so in all respects incentive motivation is better than fear motivation so incentive motivation can be better stated by by taking the incident of donkey so 
so imagine a donkey pulling a car and you are you are holding and dangling a carrot in front of it for the sake of eating the carrot the donkey moves ahead in turn cart will also fall cart and luggage cart will also fall this is the but you have to see that so a donkey is hungry enough carrot is sweet enough and the cart is light enough adu helpon bartadala adu kuda later then only therefore these are some factors incentive motivation where it comes so katte mundike adu gaadi ne helpon hogbekadre aa carrot tinbeku annodke hasu irbeku adike it must be hungry enough and the carrot must be sweet enough and the cart must be light enough then only you can achieve that loss sometimes you have to allow the donkey to eat the carrot otherwise it will get discouraged it will stop uh, moving ahead every time you are showing the carrot and you are taking away it will get this sometimes you have to allow it to eat. and after eating if its stomach becomes full it will stop uh, pulling the cart understand at in that time you have to give a rest likewise this incentive motivation wherever applicable how much applicable you have to apply it sometimes you have to give incentives sometimes you have to give commission sometimes you have to give promotion sometimes you have to give vacation so depending upon the task you offer different incentives to the workers so that the task will be moving without any hurdles what so societal approval is also a type of incentive motivation this is the case of uh, this can be intrinsic motivation also this can be extrinsic motivation also what about the demotivators the demotivators in a working environment unfair criticism sumu sumne bayodu leader should not do this normally you should not unfair criticism should not be there and uh, uh, in front of your colleagues you should not be blamed as a leader so if, if a subordinate makes some mistake you have to call him to the chamber in privacy you take him uh, left and right he will accept but in front of everybody uh, this uh, that will be a demotivating factor public humiliation that is rewarding non performance this is very much happening in our environment who has done the work he will not be rewarded who has not done the work he will be rewarded somehow he will get some recognition he will be rewarded so that is a demotivating factor <coughs> failure or fear of failure if a task is assigned to you you have the surety of its failure or fear of failure then you will be demotivated in the beginning itself therefore when you are assigning a task as a leader it must be a realistic goal so it it, it has to be addressed you should not be given so as a subordinate you should convince your uh, higher officer sir this task cannot be completed within the uh, uh, time frame uh, stipulated time frame given by you you have to be that is complexes that I, this i have already explained complexes <coughs> and then lack of direction this is where training orientation training becomes imperative so if you don't have a direction so whatever the work you will go it will go in a heavy so if you are work should be proper in a proper order so direction should be specified your orientation must be very very important you must be oriented you must direct your behavior towards the goal so so orientation may be knowing also for, for the sake of other students i will explain so if a uh, <coughs> freely suspended uh, magnetic needle or a centrally pivoted magnetic needle finally it establishes to the magnetic north and south that is orientation in our uh, civil terms so on the magnetic needle na you know yavatra tirisidru kuda finally it establishes in one direction hagene so maybe hundreds of deterrents to you so you are Uh, direction should be fixed to the set goals 
so lack of direction is that is the oh, that is the important motivator next improper goal low self esteem nimma baggene nimage bhavane irodilla nimma baggene nimage aatma bala irodilla aatma bala anta hartare esteem so you should have <coughs> ನಿನ್ನನ್ನು ನೀನು ನಂಬದೇ ಇದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ನಂಬಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೋ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎಸ್ಟೀಮ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎಸ್ಟೀಮ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೋ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎಸ್ಟೀಮ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಭರವಸೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ತಂದಾಗ ಸೊ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಯಾರಿಟೀಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಯಾರಿಟೀಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ಸೊ ಯುವರ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಮೇ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಟು ಏಟ್ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ so in the for the sake of studying so so many subjects are there which is more difficult which is less difficult which is uh, which i have to give more attention you have to chat to the attention like this you have to prioritize then the task will be easy otherwise you will become a mess of all the the thing you can address and you will end up with it jathe hage hago yav examination also in the examination hall also so they will take up a most difficult question in the first they will spend lot of time more than one hour they will spend hence so when they start attending time will be over this is usually happen therefore my dear students you have to prioritize your activities not only in the examination hall but studying also at home also which is most important which is less important to prepare the homework and then you start uh, a lot time for each task according to the priorities you address the priorities then that will become very easy next office politics this i, I don't know what to say so it is every where because of the office politics we get demotivated and then poor standards if you don't have a minimum standard so in your work so that that will also be like a motivator and then <coughs> frequent change suppose if you are doing very fine in particular uh, wing suddenly you are transfer to other, another thing some office some change like that then you will be demotivated understand so that, that should not happen these things i do not want to highlight more because these things you know frequency responsibility without authority na helos kelsa madu no power for you i am leader i do not give any power but you have to insight the internal motivation you have to give some power also some authority also should be then she will feel the sense of belongingness id nannadu anta bartade avaga illa anta bandre avu helidre nan maatu credit ninagu untu ನಿನಗೂಲೇಜ್ನೂಲೈಸ್ಟ್ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ಲಿಸ್
or in overseers or supervisors in that capacity our diploma students will be placed how they can motivate because under a diploma holder minimum 10 to 15 uh, workers are there minimum 10 to 15 so if you are a site engineer under you some uh, 50 to 60 workers senior workers laborers will be working under you you have to look after you have to get the work, the work done likewise in the case of mechanical engineers if you are given a job under you many uh, iti holders or uh, mechanics and uh, non technical personnel will be working under you you have to get the work done likewise in the case of a computer science you may be uh, given a post of team leader you have to lead the team how you can motivate them having learned all these factors about motivation so how to motivate set a realistic goal i have already goals you are you set it must be realistic are you doing the kelsa na you have to conduct meetings you have to make a play for objectives so you, uh, you have to decide whether this can be achieved or not then you have to uh, uh, so you have to make your expectations clear then only you have to set the realistic goals engage <coughs> performance in every organization performance are there even your institution also you will be seeing so so even if in the department of technical education dt office if there are hundreds of staff members not all the hundreds of staff members are 100 percent intrinsic motivators very few seven eight ten like that intrinsic they work hard they work for the cost of the technical education they are the real workers so that the, the officer in charge has to identify the top farmers performers and you have to engage because these top performers by virtue of their qualities, they will stimulate others also to work hard and they are, they are in turn, they engage others also to work. Again, Yatha Raja, Tatha Praja, one day one of top performance, the top city puts the drain up there. Our so many other there, our team will come in the room, so many other. Therefore, so lead. Identify uniqueness of each every <coughs> promote teamwork. Promote teamwork. This is very, very important. Oh, Bill Gates once said Indians are great when they work uh, alone, they work in a team. So that is the typical characteristic of an Indian. Therefore, huh, uh, this should be make work interesting, be a good listener. Listening is a very good quality of okay? a leader. So if you are, a, you are heading an organization, so you must listen. What is what are the uh, problems? What are the real issues of the next? Be a firm decision maker. Decision making is making is a very difficult thing. Decision making is a very uh, difficult thing. So a leader is taking a decision means he has to see the problems from all angles. Then only he must take a decision. Uh, this specific, measurable, agreeable, uh, real time, time scale. This I have already explained. Reward suitably. We have finished a task to reward you know, at least a word of appreciation, a padding. You have done the work. Very good. Next, share information and knowledge. Whatever the information you share with the, your employees also. Maintain flexibility in rules. So always. Do not apply rigid the rules. There must be some flexibility in the rules. Uh, conduct regular meetings and get feedback. Then training to the employee, employees for updation. Often and often, you must be conducting the be a role model to your subordinates. Have an element of human touch in your administration. Take your workforce along with you towards the See, this is a very interesting uh, observation made. Stages of the motivation in the workforce. In the beginning, motivated, ineffective. This is very much true of young entrants. In the beginning, 
organization with the high energy that the cost is justified but ineffective because they do not for the beginners there is some inexperience they can they want to do they have the drive the energy but they lack a direction understand training and orientation becomes equality normally professional organizations will give you very good training proper training but unprofessional organizations uh, normally what happens in a political situation if a new entrant comes new lecturer comes the experienced lecturer will take him to a coffee and he will tell all the uh, negative things <laughs> why do you take so much of class so i will you be given extra this one uh, only this much is sufficient like that. so this uh, negative things will be one and he will become uh, he will uh, become uh, redundant in future let's say uh, both way therefore when they are working, when you are giving training when you are giving orientation for professional organization should the duke so in our native here atiti and the sister organization we are giving effective orientation and training programs motivated effective in the second stage after three or four years of experience so he learned what to do reflects in his performance and he he becomes a useful entity to the organization next demote in the third stage after 10 to 15 years of experience of oh, mr he knows the tricks of the trade but demotivated he is detrimental to the growth he rejects new ideas spreads negativity all round needs to be corrected or punished and so that the new rishad mein le he knows the tricks of the trade so he has to be motivated at this stage also not only in the beginning after 10 to 15 year, uh, years of service because negativity has uh, induced into him he has to be treated and then finally if he is not demoted be effective he will become demoted motivated ineffective so in that that's a dangerous stage he will not listen to anybody he will not attend the work properly he is a waste uh, this one asset to the organization he needs to be sack some inspiration some inspiration of course shoot for the moon even if you fail you will land among the stars no problem never 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 give up no regrets just lesson learned after a failure no regrets don't ask god to make your life easier but pray to make you a strong person this is the quality of a internal motivator every problem has a solution perhaps change our attitude if you change your attitude uh, problem <laughs> motivate as bernard shaw the great english uh, dramatician that the people who get on this world are the people who get up and look for the circumstances they want and if they can't find them they will make them they will create them motivators they will create opportunities they will create such a solution they will and you are off the day good sir well done well done of that these are some of the famous failures in the beginning they are failures but uh, the, in, in, in due course of time they have proved they are worth they are uh, celebrities so three sentences for getting success shakespeare said no more than others work more than others expect less than this is the true quality of a internal motivator that so he will not expect like that am krishna in bhagavad gita krishna has also said you do your work promptly don't expect it So when work is a pleasure of life, when work is a pleasure, life is a joy. When work is a duty, life is a. We don't want to. We don't want to make our life as a slavery. Let us uh, uh, make our li uh, life a paradise. This is what I have. Thank you, Mr. Organizer, and the Director of Technical Education, for giving me an opportunity. Uh, so, on behalf of all the colleges for participating in this program i thank mr pandran gupta for giving a wonderful and motivating talk i now i request the participants to ask any questions if they have any Thank you.
JPT Aurat, GPT, GPT. Sir, Sunil, sir. Sir, hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, good afternoon, sir, and the presentation. Hello. hello. Sir, what is that? Hello. Sir. Sir, the presentation was really good. I thank uh, Sri Pandurang Vittal, sir. Uh, the audio was a thank bit you, sir. Uh, noisy. It was not, uh, yeah. not very clear. Oh, because the of audio society. was not very clear. The presentation, the slides, we could see it very yeah. properly. All our students are sitting here still. And uh, yeah. we have perfectly enjoyed your presentation, sir. I thank you, thank you sir. Thank very you. much for this presentation. Yeah. Thank you, On sir. behalf Thank of you all much. my students, staff, principal, everybody. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, that will be taken care in the next program, sir. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Slides are not clear. Synchronizing at the end of the day. Next college, Chikmaguru. Chikmaguru College. CPT, Chintamani. Sir, if you need any clarification or if there is any feedback about the program, you can give it now. Chintamani. GPT Chintamani. Hello. Hello. GPT Chintamani. Hello. Hello. Give your feedback about the program. So the PPT presentation was excellent. Ah, okay. And our video is not. Yeah. And the audio is also not preferable. Audio? Audio is also not preferable. You can't hear the audio clearly. Audio is clear. Audio is not clear. Not clear. Okay, okay. That will be taken care of, sir. Okay, 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 thank you. Yes, Next, uh, Bayapali. Ah. Okay, give it Bayapali. Wait, my dear. Give it to Give it to Bayapali. Give your feedback. Give it. Yeah. Yeah. It is muted now. Unmute now. Okay, okay, you can speak now. Yeah. Yes, sir. 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 Okay, good students. So thank you so much for the what is the motivation and the inspiration. We know that today. Hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you so much, Okay. So, so I have one doubt. The motivation how to okay. develop to the students in uh, internally or externally, sir? External or out? Huh? Hello, okay, hello. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Motivation, how to develop, sir, in any easy manner. Internal motivation, how to develop. So, it, 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 by regular practice, it will happen. So, that's what positive self talk I have, I have put it. You know? 
so always you will be telling yourself that i will perform better i will become a good man i will become a good worker i will become a useful entity to the organization all these positive statements you should keep repeating just like chanting mantras you should chant these uh, positive, positive self talks this way you will become uh, an internal motivator yes yeah, sir yeah it's good but uh, some some more issues are coming from the childhood as well how to change this that one issue of the even good values sir habits uh, you know old habits uh, they hard old habits they hard but still you can improve yourself bye sir bye ಚಾಮರಾಜನಗರ ಜೆಪಿಡಿ ಚಾಮರಾಜನಗರ Yes sir we will, will, will be taken care that will be taken care of in next the next presentations and the presentation voice or total voice is not audible sir presentation voice sir presentation is good hmm huh? huh? the voice yeah, yeah you are not able to follow the voice, voice or sir. some uh, break is there break up in the voice is there uh, little bit break up sir hmm ah uh, sir is it is it clear now sir you can uh, check in the youtube the streaming is good due to some uh, bandwidth problem in your uh, institute it may be like that you can check sir. for the youtube okay sir whatever the uh, video that is streamed in youtube is uh, clear clear cut voice is there you can check for the youtube in the youtube go to dt studio and you can watch the presentation no problem definitely sir due to Thank some you. bandwidth problem uh, you can have some uh, disturbances in the voice there is not the problem with the presentation you can watch the presentation in youtube it is a clear cut voice is there okay sir okay sir anyhow thank you for the feedback thank you sir next to okay chinta me aurad aur aurad aki gpt aurad the marathon hota na ha sir ha edi edi sir yes sir uh matte yeah. nila sir the uh, program was good any problem ha heli sir audio was a yeah. uh, bit uh, uh, noisy and not very much loud clear loud and clear it was not very much loud and clear sir uh, due to some bandwidth problems also you are not able to hear the voice now also your voice is not uh, clearly audible but uh, whatever okay. the streamed video live uh, it is clear cut voice is there okay you can check again the presentation in youtube what okay. in uh, youtube whatever the streamed video is uh, and audio is clear right. Right. but due right. to some uh, bandwidth problems in the customer end or in the college end you may yes, not sir. have the clear cut voice what is there any feedback from the students uh students anything you want to ask anybody yeah how was the presentation and uh, you could uh, hear it clearly loudly uh, you should have some light in the room uh, yeah, your certainly. room is completely dark correct sir actually we are we are seeing this on the projector through projector so we kept the light low here okay. and also i am using uh, this yeah ನಮ್ಮ ಚಾನಲ್ ಇದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸರ್ ಎನಿ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ನೋ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದ ದ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಶನ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ 90% ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಬಿಟ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಸ್ देयर ಬಾರ್ಡರ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಬಾರ್ಡರ್ ಏರಿಯಾ 
Howrah is a border okay. area where only yeah. fifty percent people understand Kannada, fifty percent understand Marathi. Marathi. Yeah. No one can speak English. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sir. So that is the problem. So kindly, uh, just you know, think of uh, uh, renovating and uh, new ideas how to communicate uh, with uh, these sort of students. Sir, uh, that is the purpose of getting the feedback. Sir, we actually teach here in Hindi. Sir, okay, we okay, actually sir. teach here in Hindi. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the feedback, sir. Hindi <laughs> 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 Okay. Okay. Thanks to all participants. Uh, now the present. Uh, now the forum is going to end. Please uh, disconnect the call. Thanks, sir. Sir. Thank you.